Today I'm starting with a new chapter that is binomial theorem. One of the important chapters. So x power decreases, a power increases. nc0 to ncn, you go on writing, that's it. What is tr plus 1? tr plus 1 is ncr x power n minus r. Come through with the general term. What is general term? ncr x power n minus r, a power r. Welcome to the session, dear students. Today, I'm starting with a new chapter that is binomial theorem, one of the important chapters for board exams. So now, an expression containing two terms, binomial means what? Bi means two, two terms. And general form is x plus a power n. General form is what? x plus a power n. This is a binomial term. And in the expansion of this, here n is always positive term. Binomial theorem is expression containing expansion of x plus a power n, where n is positive integer. And this was first given by Sir Isaac Newton. And here x and a are real numbers. And n is a positive number. This is the expansion. And expansion is interesting. Observe this carefully. x plus a power n. So first we'll start with n c 0 then nc1, then nc2, then so on till stop at ncn. nc0, nc1, nc2, nc3, nc4, ncn. Means, suppose if you have x plus 3 power 4, start with 4c0, then 4c1, then 4c2, then 4c3, then 4c4. Both should become equal. Then first term start with power n, x power n, then decrease 1 each, x power n minus 1, then x power n minus 2, x power n minus 3, like that, finally x power n minus n. Here first term is x, x power 4, x power 3, x power 2, decrease 1, 1, 1, x power 1, then x power 0. And similarly, the second term start with 0 and go on increasing, a power 0, a power 1, a power 2, last term is a power n. This is binomial expansion. So, here nc0 is 1. So, that's why we don't write nc0. Anything power 0 is 1. So, we don't write these two. We'll write just x power n. Then nc1, x power n minus 1 a, x, nc2, x power n minus 2 a square, ncn, x power like a power x power n. Now, to make you understand better, I'll take y plus 2 whole power 3. Only 3 terms. So, it's a binomial expression. What is the power 3? Start with 3c0. The first term power 3, second term power 0. Then 3c1, first term power decreases, 3 it becomes 2, 2 power 1. Then 3c2, first becomes y power 1, second becomes 2 square and last 3c3, stop it. When these two becomes, stop it and y power 1 becomes 0, 2 power 3. See, first we start with nc0, 3c0, 3c1, 3c2, 3c3. When they become same, stop it. And the first term, take the power. Power is 3. So, y3, y power 2, y power 1, y power 0. And second term, start with 0, 2 power 0. Then 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3. Now, simplify. nc0 is 1. So, 1 into y cube is y cube. And this is also 1 and this is also 1. So, just it will be y cube. And this is 3c1 y square 2, 3c2, y into 2 square, 3c3, y power 0, anything power 0, this will become 1, so 2 cube like this. So, general form is x plus a power n is x power n, nc1, x power n minus 1 a, nc2, x power n minus 2 a square. So, x power decreases, a power increases, nc0 to ncn, you go on writing, that's it. This is the formula. So, now further, in the expansion, in the expansion, we'll have n plus 1 terms. So, now in the expansion of x plus a power n, in expansion of this, in expansion of this, we'll have, we'll have 1 term more, n plus 1. Simple example I give, a plus b the whole square. What is a plus b the whole square? a square plus b square plus 2ab. x plus a the whole square, x square plus a square plus 2ax. 1, 2, 3 terms. Power is 2, expansion. So, power is 2, means n is 2. Expansion will have n plus 1. n plus 1 means what? 2 plus 1. 3 terms. Now, my question to you. 
if i give x plus 1 or x plus 5 power 9 how many terms will be there in the expansion so n means overall power is 9 in the expansion we'll have n plus 1 n plus 1 means 9 plus 1 10 terms in the expansion of x plus a power n there will be n plus 1 terms there will be how many terms power plus 1 terms and general term general term is ncr x power n minus r a power r most important we'll do all the problems based on general term so general term is tr plus 1 in the expansion of x plus a power n tr plus 1 general term is n c r x power n minus r a power r so the key concept or key formula what is the general term tr plus 1 is n c r x power n minus r a power r if i want fifth term if i want t 5 then i'll write it as t 4 plus 1 So T four plus one can be written as N C R four C R X power four minus R A power R. What is T R plus one? N C R X power N minus R A power R. What is T R plus one? N C R X power N minus R A power R. This is a general term formula. We use the formula to solve the problems. Now they want you to find fifth term in expansion of four X by five minus five by two X whole power eight. See they gave four X by five. Minus five by two x power eight. It is in the form x plus a power n. Now x means the first term. First term is four x by five. A means the second term. A is minus five by two x, and n is the overall power eight. So now use the formula T R plus one. What is T R plus one? T R plus one is n C R x power n minus r a power r. so that is they want you to find fifth term so t5 they want t5 can be written as t4 plus 1 so r is 4 r is what 4 you want r n x a we have so now write the formula what is general term formula tr plus 1 is n c r x power n minus r a power r so i want t5 t5 can be written as t4 plus 1 ncr n means overall power what is overall power 8 here i wrote n is 8 so 8 cr r means what 4 x power x means the first term first term is 4x by 5 4x by 5 power n minus r 8 minus 4 a a means what minus 5 by 2x power r r is what 4 now simplify this this is t5 8c4 is 8c4, 4x by 5 power 4 minus power even number becomes plus. So 5 power 4, 2x the whole power 4 and minus becomes plus. Further, if you want, you can simplify. So now how to simplify? So now t5 is equal to 8c4, 4 power 4, x power 4 divided by 5 power 4 into 5 power 4 by 5 power 4 by 2 power 4 x power 4 2 power 4 x power 4. So now cancel the terms. So directly I can cancel x power 4 x power 4 5 power 4 5 power 4. Whatever is left out we'll write. So what is left out? 8 c 4 8 c 4 can be written as 8 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 divided by 4 3 2 1 and 4 power 4 4 into 4 into 4 into 4 divided by 2 power 4 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 simplify this 2 to the 4 and 4 cancels 2 to the 4 and 4 cancels again this 1 4 one more 4 cancels 2 ones are 2 two twos are cancels again we have that set 3 ones are 3 twos are simplify so we have 8 into 7 into 2 into 5 into 2 so multiply this 8 seven za 7 into 14 into 8 1120 five twos are 10 So fourteen into eight, hundred and twelve, hundred and twelve into ten, one one two zero. So we got T five. T five is just fifth term is thousand hundred and twenty. Interesting. The first term is 
फोर एक्स बै फै से टर्म इज मैन फै टू एक्स पवर इज एन एंड दिफ्त टर्म फिफ्त टर्म मीन आर इज फोर यूज द फार्मुला टी आर प्लस वन वाट इज टी आर प्लस वन एन सी आर एक्स पवर एन मैन आर ए पवर आर देन वी हव नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम फैन द सिक्स टर्म इन रूट एक्स मैन रूट वै पवर सेवेंटी इट इज इन द फार्म ऑफ एक्स प्लस ए पवर एन सो वाट इज एक्स एक्स इज रूट एक्स वाट इज ए इज रूट वै वाट इज एन एन इज सेवेंटी and then one sixth term t6 can be written as t5 plus 1 so r is 5 so now we have r x a and n and use the formula tr plus 1 you know tr plus 1 is what ncr x power n minus r a power r first we come through with the general term what is general term ncr x power n minus r a power r so that is t r plus 1 what is r we have 5 t 5 plus 1 is equal to ncr what is n n is 17 c 5 x what is x The first term root x power 17 minus 5 a power r root y power r is 5. So 17 c 5, and we can write x root x power 17 minus 5 is 12, and uh, root y power 5. R r is what? 5 because 6 term. So further we simplify it becomes 17 c 5 x power half root can be written as x power half power 12. And y power uh, root y power phi, root y power phi. I'll write power phi. Now 17c phi, so x power half power 12. Sorry, power 12. No, two ones are two six are x power six. And can I write this as uh, y power half whole power four into one more y power. So y power half power four into y power half. So seventeen c five x power six. This two ones are two two. So it will become y square into root y. This is r. We can write power five by two also. So you can also write seventeen c five x power six y power half indices five by two. Fine, no problem. So similarly, they want eighth term in this. So they want eighth term. So it is in the form what x plus a power n. By method of comparison, the first term is a by two, and uh, a is second term. Second term is minus three by b. N is overall power ten. They wanted to find t eight eighth term, so I can write it as seven plus one. So r is seven. And now further take the general term formula. What is the general term formula? T r plus one is equal to n c r x power n minus r into a power r. So they wanted to find eighth term. Eighth term can be written as t seven plus one is equal to n c r. What is n? 10 c r. What is r? R means 7. X means the first term. What is the first term? A by 2 power 10 minus 7 into second term 3 by b. Sorry, second term minus 3 by b. Minus 3 by b power what? R. R is what? 7. And 10 c 7 is same as 10 c 10 minus 7. And a by 2 power 3. Minus power odd number becomes minus. I'll write minus outside. Three by b power seven. Simplify this. So t eight is equal to. I can write it as minus ten c three. So see minus is outside, and then remaining a cube by two square, two cube. Then three power seven divided by b power seven. Simplify this. Minus ten c three. Or you can leave it. A by two whole cube. 3 by b whole power 7 because we cannot uh, cancel any term. So instead of expanding, you can stop it here. It is fair. Similarly, you can find seventh term for this, and also you can find tenth term for this. The remaining two problems, I mean, leaving it to you. So sit and complete that. So this is an introduction for the binomial theorem. In my next session, I'll be continuing with many more different problems. Thanks for attending. I'll see you in my next session. Thank you.